Sweater prices continue to soar, marks the highest since 2014. Prices reach record 73.73 rupees a litre in the national capital. As the Kaveri issue snowballs, opposition DMK calls for a statewide bond on April 5th in Tamil Nadu. Earlier, DMK working president and party leaders detained for protesting. In the CBSE paper league case, big breakthrough for crime branch. Two teachers and one coaching class tutor arrested for leaking class 12 economics paper. Situation tense in Bhavnagar after police lati charged and fired tear gas shells at protesting farmers. 60 farmers detained, 10 injured, 700 police personnel deployed to control the situation. Two days on, massive forest fire continues to rage in the valley. Unable to douse the fire, clueless authorities turn to locals for help. 50-year-old, a four-storey building came crashing down in Indore, killing 10 people, injuring several others. Magisterial government approve ordered. Government announces compensation for victims' families. In massive wastage of milk, followers pour milk on Telangana Assembly Speaker S. Madhusudanachari at an event. Good evening, you're watching Nation Now. I'm Avni Raja. Now, petrol prices have hit a four-year high as uh, the price touched a record 73.73 rupees a litre in the national capital. That's highest since September 14th, 2014, when rates had hit 76.06. And diesel prices are at an all-time high of 64.58. And remember, this is coming at a time when international crude oil prices are nearly $70 per barrel and this is the topic that we are picking up today it's a topic that we've been talking about time and time again and we still have not received a proper justification from the government on why petrol and diesel prices are so high why is such a large chunk of petrol and diesel prices only in taxes and that's the topic we're going to be discussing today uh, before we go to our panelists let's go across to Milan who's joining us uh, Milan you've been talking to a lot of people uh, through the day today trying to understand how much is this hike in petrol and diesel the high levels that it is constantly maintained at how is it pinching them Well, absolutely. Uh, the hike in petrol and diesel prices is something that pinches the common man to an extent that it's not just about uh, uh, the kind of inconvenience they face, but also the kind of rise in prices of commodities that we are looking at. And uh, certainly it has a larger impact uh, on, uh, you know, many people because ultimately when the prices of petrol and diesel will rise at this point, we are looking at a rise uh, till uh, 73 point C paise is where the petrol prices at in Delhi in the national capital and also 63 rupees, uh, 64 rupees worth of diesel and I'm going to speak to uh, you know the common man who are, who's going to tell me uh, you know the ground realities you are seeing that petrol is increasing as the barrel 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 is increasing ठीक है सरकार हम लोग ने बनाई इसलिए थी इस सब चीजों को कंट्रोल करने के लिए आज से कुछ वर्ष पहले बैरल बहुत महंगा हुआ था पेट्रोल सस्ता था बट ये ऐसा उल्टा क्यों कर रहे हैं प्रधानी मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि गवर्नमेंट की ऐसी पॉलिसी है कि किसी का पैसा उसे और लूट लो लूटने की ही पॉलिसी चल रही है आप आप देखिए ये व्यापारी या बिजनेसमैन या हाउस या किसान एवरीथिंग इज डिपेंड ऑन डीजल एंड पेट्रोल ये डीजल पेट्रोल महंगा हो रहा है तो इकोनॉमी इंडिया की कहाँ जाएगी ये इनको क्यों नहीं कंट्रोल कर पा रही ये विदेशों में हमारे भारत सरकार के मंत्री घूम रहे हैं तो इन्हें सबसे पहले सोर्सेज ऑफ डीजल और पेट्रोल की सोर्सेज इनको डेवलप करनी चाहिए सबसे बड़ा हमारे रेवेन्यू भारत का जो रेवेन्यू है वो विदेश जा रहा है उसको कंट्रोल करने के लिए सबसे पॉलिसी लानी चाहिए उस पॉलिसी में मैं नहीं समझता कोई काम कर पा रहे हैं आप अगर दिल्ली के लोगों से बात करें दिल्ली में सीलिंग जीएसटी अभी नोट नो, नो, बंदी में इतना पैसा खर, बर्बाद कर दिया अभी पीएनबी में इतना बड़ा घोटाला हुआ है ये पैसा मुझे लगता है जो ये घोटाले जो ये नुकसान है ये पेट्रोल के रे, रेट बढ़ा के या और चीजों के रेट बढ़ा के उसको कवर करने का तरीका है इसका मतलब ये कि गवर्नमेंट 
सिस्टम में काम नहीं कर पा रही जो ये काम बड़े बड़े काम कर रहे हैं वो नहीं कर जो इनके एजेंडे थे चुनाव में उसमें तो काम ही नहीं किया जिस पे इनको वोट मिला बिल्कुल बिल्कुल और जहाँ तक महंगाई की बात करें घरों का जो सामान है चाहे वो घर का सामान हो या फिर वो कहीं इंडस्ट्री रिलेटेड मटीरियल हो पेट्रोल और डीजल के बढ़ने से हर चीज अब महंगी होती जा रही है पेट्रोल के रेट बढ़ने से पेट्रोल और डीजल दोनों रेट बढ़ने से घर का जो भी सामान है जो ट्रांसपोर्ट का है हर चीज़ के रेट बढ़ेंगे आज पब्लिक के बीच में अगर आप जाके देखो आर डब्ल्यू के बीच में जाके देखो तो लोग त्राई त्राई कर रहे हैं मगर गवर्नमेंट का उस चीज़ पे कोई ध्यान नहीं है जबकि रेट्स बाहर का देखा जाए तो पेट्रोल के लिए इतने कम रेट हैं मगर सरकार का क्या व्यूज़ है कि किस तरीके से पैसा इकट्ठा करके पेट्रोल के बिहार पे डीजल के बिहार पे वो पैसा जो दुनिया को लूट कर ये पैसा यूज़ कहाँ कर रहे हैं वो कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा मगर आज पब्लिक आम पब्लिक को देखो तो वो बहुत ज़्यादा परेशान है इस चीज़ के लिए और ये सारी चीज़ का पेट्रोल डीजल का जो इफेक्ट है ये हर कमोडिटी पे पड़ेगा अब वो कमोडिटी बाहर नज़र नहीं आती जैसे 100 ग्राम की कोई आइटम थी कंपनी वाले ने उसे 80 ग्राम का कर दिया रेट नहीं बढ़ाया मगर पब्लिक को उस चीज़ का नुकसान हो गया तो ये चीज़ें बाहर नज़र नहीं आ रही मगर पब्लिक को इस चीज़ का बहुत ज़्यादा नुकसान हो रहा है क्या आप भी इन बातों से सहमत हैं जिस प्रकार ये कच्चे तेलों के रेट घटे उस हिसाब से हमारे यहाँ पेट्रोल और डीजल बहुत सस्ता होना चाहिए था लेकिन वो सस्ता ना होकर ये दिन पे दिन रेट बढ़ रहे हैं ये गलत है दूसरा इन्होंने जीएसटी के दायरे में नहीं लेकर आए ये उससे भी देखो पेट्रोल के रेट कम होने चाहिए थे पेट्रोल के रेट कम नहीं हो रहे देखो पेट्रोल के रेट बढ़ने से हमारी जो रोज़मर्रा की चीज़ें हैं दैनिक जरूरी चाहे सब्जियां हैं या और इन सब चीज़ों पर फ़र्क पड़ेगा ट्रांसपोर्टेशन यदि महंगी होगी तो हर चीज़ ऑटोमेटिकल महंगी होगी जो रेट बढ़ रहे हैं इससे देखो आम आदमी इफेक्टिव होगा ही होगा जी एक बात जो इन्होंने कही कि जी के अंडर अभी तक पेट्रोल को लाया नहीं गया है इस पर आपका क्या विचार जीएसटी पे तो वैसे मुझे जो महंगाई का जो लग रहा है ना जो महंगाई मतलब जो सारी हो रही है ना ये सारा गरीबों पे मतलब असर पड़ रहा है इसका मतलब आज बेरोजगारी इतनी बढ़ गई है और उसके बावजूद मतलब इतनी महंगाई हो रही है तो मतलब जो आगे आने वाला समय ना बहुत खराब नजर आ रहा है That's right. Uh, you know, people feel distress. People feel a sense that uh, you know the government is not able to contain the prices of uh, petrol and diesel. And as we said earlier, this is relating to rising prices of other commodities as well, and squarely putting the burden on the common man. There. Back to you. All right, uh, Milana. Thanks for getting us uh, those voices. Let's also go across to Pramod uh, from Chennai. Pramod, uh, you've been also speaking to a lot of people uh, regarding how they uh, feel about this rise in petrol and diesel. What's the sentiment like on ground at this point? Well, this is, issue is not a good one in Tamil Nadu as well. I'm standing in a petrol at uh, Bunker Chennai, and if I would like my camera person to show it, like zoom and show the prices over here, petrol has gone up to 76 rupees, and diesel is 68 rupees and odd. The thing is that, like after the government gave up its uh, power to uh, uh, regulate the prices, it has become a, a hard issue for the people over here. The petrol price has not gone below, I mean, uh, below 74 rupees, and that's a big issue over here. Yes, the people are seriously struggling, and not just that. Two years ago, the finance minister Jay Kumar also increased the VAT for the uh, petrol price, by which we are almost paying 40 to 45 rupees uh, for, per liter. The issue is seriously troublesome. And as the government, like I mentioned earlier, regulatory power given away. Now the thing is that uh, people are like find, trying to find out like what is a better way for transportation. Many have also gone forward for uh, local transportation, but still, still they could not cope up with the price of petrol and diesel in the state. All right. Uh, thanks, Pramod, for getting us uh, those uh, details. Uh, just to remind our viewers, our phone lines are open. Call us. Tell us if you think that uh, the, are you willing to pay such high prices? Is the government doing everything that they can to actually control petrol and diesel prices? Uh, let's get on board our panelists now. Uh, Ajay Bansal, National President, All India Petrol Dealers Association, uh, is with us. Vaibhav Vagarwal, spokesperson of the BJP. Uh, Subro Kamal Datta, economist from the Noida Studio. Uh, Sanjay Jha of the Congress. Uh, Ravi Srivastav, founding member up and former senior manager HPCL with me in the Mumbai studio. Thank you very much uh, everyone for joining in. Uh, Ravi Srivastav, I want to start with you. You know, we'll get opening comments from everyone, but coming to you first, in your view, how is the government handling uh, the situation of diesel and petrol prices? Avni, let me <clears throat> explain you in a layman language. <clears throat> it is nothing but atrocious. 
The government is simply looting people. Can you imagine that the price of the petrol and diesel which is sold in the market today has got a 50% component of the taxes? Can you imagine that petrol, uh, crude oil prices in 2008, June, I distinctly remember what $148 per barrel, but still petrol was selling for 52 rupees a liter. And today at $70, if this is the situation, you can well imagine if the prices further go up. Point is, government has made ample of money on account of excise duty charged from the people. They are charging excise duty at the rate of 35 rupees a litre, excise duty in the VAT both, from the public on this petrol and diesel. Luckily, when UP, uh, NDA government came to power, the great luck for the nation, the, pet, the prices of crude, crude fell down almost half immediately. And that was the opportunity for the government to stabilise the prices by way of keeping a stabilization fund so that when the prices go up, they can keep it controlled. <laughs> they never did it. In a span of three years, government has pocketed 5 lakh crore from this excise duty from the public. And that money has been, I don't know for which Vikas it has been used, but the fact is, today we are buying petrol in Bombay at the rate of 81 rupee 59 paisa per litre. This is totally <coughs> atrocious, looting people. And imagine, they say hai, that we, hai, the prices ke, are dependent ke, upon the crude from abroad. Wo Can somebody reply me? Sri Lanka sells petrol at 53 I will come to you. Just let Ravi Srivastava finish. I will come to you in a minute. Sri Lanka sells petrol at a rate of 53 rupees a litre and it buys it from right. India. So it is nothing but fooling people that we are uh, suppressed because of the high prices of crude and all. And this is just not uh, acceptable to the people. And they are suffering. The inflation is going up the, due to diesel. Logistics cost is going up. The dealers are worried because the daily price revision has killed them completely since 1st July till date. Petrol has gone up by 10 rupees a litre and diesel also has gone up by 9 rupees a litre. Right. Uh, Weber Agarwal, uh, you know, uh, coming to you since you wanted to come in at this point, uh, to respond, of course, to what uh, Ravi Shivastav was saying, but also the fact, is it not true that petrol and diesel are easy products to tax? Because you know that the, uh, the customers, all of us, will not have a choice but to pay because they're a necessity, we need it every day, and it's just an easy way to uh, uh, thing to tax. Avni, good evening. I thought I, th I thought we were to uh, do this in Hindi, but since we're doing this in English, I'll continue with that. Now, uh, no, to answer your question and to uh, and and I will give a rebuttal to Ravi Ji. Very unfortunate. So to answer your question, no, petrol and diesel are not easy easy. Uh, how would I say easy easy commodities to to uh, uh, tax, but. But this government has overall reduced the tax. You know, last evening I was having my dinner and and we were three people and and we only landed up paying about 1200 rupees for three people at a at a very good restaurant you know usually our bills would have been about 2800 so so the government is definitely working on reducing taxes but then there is a lot of politics on it now just for instance tamil nadu we saw 76 rupees you know uh, just for instance a list of top 10 states where where petrol prices are high why because the local state governments decide to tax them you know and i and i'll tell you and i'll tell you they're all non bjp states one is telangana punjab kerala tamil nadu andhra pradesh and so on you know and 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 and, I, and if i start making the tax index then the list can go oh, on can I come in you now? know and delhi is one of them incidentally now uh, if aam aadmi party button. and ravi ji you know, I, I expected that Raviji would have given a better picture to, to the people from a, from a perspective of debate and not to just politicize it. You know, uh, the, taxes, the taxes that are there are not impacting the inflation in the market at all. In fact, in November 2013, the inflation was at an all-time high of 12.17 and it's at 4.44 right now and we plan to close the quarter at 4.8. So, so, you know, if, if, we, if we look at these two things separately, we will see the impact of global crude prices also rising from, from $48 a barrel to $70 a barrel today. And we also see that our, our, our credit rating in the international market has gone up because we've started paying back our $6.5 billion plus loan 
with an interest rate overall. Where were we? But when the, pe when the crude now, prices now were at forty-eight dollars, we didn't see a reduction in the, the petrol or diesel UPA. prices at that point either. I'm going to bring in uh, Sanjay Jha here. Sanjay Jha, uh, go ahead. <laughs> right? No, no, I don't agree. I, I don't agree. There was fifty-five rupees a liter at that time. Why are we? Sir, why are we it not, was. I am in the oil company for last thirty years. I have worked with them for thirty years. I don't say out of the cup. Uh, I always uh, say authentic figure. Here, please. You want to check? You can check June two thousand eight. What was the price of petrol and diesel? Both. You can check. Please don't don't dispute me on numbers. I am more confident that than, than that. Right, Sanjay Jha, uh, coming to you now. Go ahead, please. Yeah, you know, Avni, I want to make a point here that, you know, when spokespersons of political parties come on a national TV channel, one expects a reasonable amount of, you know, what I call as a, a value given to the viewers who are listening to them. You can't indulge in some brazen, disingenuous facts and indulge in the usual political spin like the current BJP spokesperson is doing. This right, is a remarkable. Right, this is too much personal attack, Sanjay. What you're getting me on? Let's give some substance to the viewers. Of India. One minute. I you you listen. I didn't interrupt you. I didn't interrupt you. Yeah, you I mean nobody wants to me English literature here. You can here. respond. You I know. I I know. I know. But stick yeah, to the substance, yeah. please. So yeah, yeah. You know, please. it's a weekend. No, no, we this all is not have English literature. And I'm not. Listen to me. You're not the anchor. You're not the anchor. S you're not the anchor. Just stop acting like a dictator. We can stick to the debate, please. Sanjay, go ahead with your point. Where the fuck about please let him complete. Quiet and down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kindly, yeah. kindly tell him to quieten down or lower his microphone. Sanjay, Jha, go ahead. This go kind ahead, of, please, uh, with your point. Important behavior from him very often. Anyway, I need to come to the point. This is this is the great oil robbery of India, and I'll tell you why. I think the Petrol Dealers Association gentleman, Mr. Ravi, was absolutely right. I have the facts and figures in front of me. The dollar price per barrel was on an average over one twenty-five dollars a barrel during the time of the. Congress UPA, but we ensured that the common man, the middle class, the people who are watching your program did not suffer. We actually ensured that there was a subsidy given to the common man. You know why? Because oil is basically an inelastic commodity. Even if tomorrow the government of Mr. Modi increases the price to hundred, we will still have to pay that price because, as you rightly mentioned before, it is an essential commodity. And no matter what happens, even if the price goes up, the demand will not go down considerably. And that is the reason why you are correct in saying. This is a lazy, incompetent, lackadaisical government. I'll tell you why it is a lazy government. Because it is very easy to raise money. It is very easy to tax petrol, diesel, any other uh, petroleum commodity. Because you will get the money because people will anyway have to use it. And that is why I think the gentleman was absolutely right. Over five lakh crores have been robbed. I call it an extortion from the common man of India. Absolutely. It has gone into the treasury of Mr. Modi's government, and we know that has not resulted in any achedin. You can see it today in the exam leaks. You can see it today in joblessness. You can see it today in low private capital investment. You can see in terms of infrastructure crumbling. We don't know where that stick money the, has gone. The, has this has this government taken that five lakh crore from the common man of India just to keep the fiscal deficit under control and please the international financial credit rating agency? Is that we are keeping the fiscal deficit in control? Right, right. I am mean, going to bring uh, Subrahman Datta here and get an economist's grabbing. perspective. I think everybody knows uh, that. Mr. Datta, from your perspective as an economist, uh, you know the way this is being dealt with, the way the uh, taxes are so high for both petrol and diesel, and obviously, if there is any significant cut, it is going to have a significant impact on the fiscal deficit. Yes, definitely there would be an impact on fiscal deficit if there is a cut. There is no doubt about that and that is something which is not a very lucrative thing to do first and foremost. But having said that, if you look into the present scenario, I guess there is some leverage for the government to work out a kind of a middle path so that the common people and the lower section of the society who are economically deprived and financially deprived, they can get in a kind of a rahat, which we say in Hindi, you know, or a kind of a, uh, a sort of sort, some sort of relaxation. Now, how do you do this? First and foremost, I would say that, yes, there is some uh, kind of uh, 
uh, flexibility for the government to reduce little bit of the uh, excise tax on petroleum product the government can do that you know if you reduce it by say another half percent or so or by say 0.75 that itself would create in a kind of a cascading effect in lowering the petrol prices that's one thing the second thing is like if you really want to have in a kind of a genuine benefit mm -hmm. for the masses then there has to be complete coordination between the center and the state governments state governments also should take an initiative of reducing the burden on the common people from their part by reduction of sales tax and the other indirect taxes which are imposed on petrol and petroleum products that's one thing the second thing is like for a long term solution to be arrived at we actually have to look into uh, uh, imports from those countries which are not within the ambit of the OPEC. Say, for example, I would cite in two examples here. One is in relation to Iran. Iran has time and again, if I remember during the time of the UPA government also, and during the time of the present NDA government also, time and again Iran has said that we are willing to negotiate with India in relation to export of petroleum products and natural gases on the basis of rupee and rial agreement. You know, Now, if that happens, that would naturally help India in uh, controlling petroleum, petroleum products prices because Iran is willing to sell petrol to India uh, at a lower rate in relation to the international standard. That's one. The second thing is like uh, a country called Venezuela in South America is going through a very bad kind of a hyperinflation situation. You know, a hyperinflation yeah. is taking place there. And Venezuela is in a kind of an economic chaos. They desperately need in foreign exchange and foreign, uh, you know, like hard currencies as such. And uh, Venezuela has got a lot of uh, natural oil and natural gas. I think India should <coughs> actually use that to the benefit of uh, India as such and the Indian government should initiate a kind of a bilateral agreement with the Venezuelan government saying uh, whereby a kind of a mechanism could be developed at uh, so that we can import in liquid uh, uh, petrol from that country here in India and uh, whatever money is uh, going to Venezuela in the current situation Venezuela would welcome that because it's in desperate need of international right. hard currency now to revive its economy and therefore I think the exchange or the agreement which can take place between both the countries would be in right. favor of so, India. So, Kamal Das, uh, that, that's my, beg your pardon, your uh, point essentially is that the government has some leeway and needs to work out a balance really in how to reduce uh, the burden on the common man. I'm also going to bring in uh, Ajay Bansal right. here, National President, All India Petrol Dealers Association. Ajay Bansal, uh, from your perspective, the amount of tax that is levied uh, as far as petrol and diesel are concerned, what do you get out of it? And also, tomorrow, if the price, uh, crude prices touch $80, what will happen? See, as far as uh, dealers are concerned, as I was told to that uh, this uh, debate is going to be in Hindi or English, I'll, I'll mix both, I'll respond on both English and Hindi. But still, uh, on, the, on your question, uh, as far as dealers are concerned, जब भी दाम बढ़ता है हमारा एक घाटा बढ़ता है जो देश का भी घाटा है बहुत बड़ा वो है इवेपोरेशन का जब हम पेट्रोल आप जानते हैं कि करीबन एक प्रतिशत जो है वन परसेंट के करीब पेट्रोल उड़ जाता है पेट्रोल और डीजल की हम लोग लॉस करते हैं इवेपोरेशन जिसे कहा जाता है इंग्लिश में वो अगर जो साठ रुपये पर लीटर था तो वो उड़कर साठ रुपये की कॉस्ट करता है अगर जो एक एक डीलर का एक हजार लीटर उड़ता है अगर जो अस्सी रुपये पहुंच गया है तो अस्सी हजार रुपये महीने की उसकी जो है लॉस है तो एक डीलर का दाम बढ़ने पे डायरेक्टली डीलर को ये परेशानी आती है जो कि अपने आप पे एक नेशनल लॉस भी है और दूसरी तरफ जो है वो एक कस्टमर के तहत जो गुस्सा है दाम बढ़ने का वो या तो पोलिटिकल पार्टी जो है सड़कों पर निकालती है या वो आम पब्लिक हमारे पंपों पर निकालती है इन द सेंस कि जब उसको एक दाम जब बढ़ता है और उसे लगता है कि साठ रुपये का पेट्रोल आज अस्सी रुपये का मिलता है तो वो बहुत ज़्यादा एक एग्रेसिव और एक गुस्से के मूड में रहता है पंपों पर और वहाँ पर एक अपनी कई बार आ, इस बात को जताता है कि अगर जो थोड़ा सा किसी से गलती से गिर जाता है पेट्रोल या उसको लगता है कि मेरे साथ ऐसा इतना महंगा पेट्रोल है और ये मेरे से ठीक नहीं हुआ है तो वो एक रिप्रेशन हमें लगती है और एज एज फार एज गवर्नमेंट टैक्स इज कंसर्न एज यू आस्क मी अ गवर्नमेंट टैक्स द गवर्नमेंट टैक्स इज बेसिकली 
बाइंडिंग सी अगर जो एक एक ऐसा 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 प्रोडक्ट जिससे कि शॉर्ट शॉर्ट गवर्नमेंट रेवेन्यू आता है वो सिर्फ पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट और पेट्रोलियम सेक्टर ही है और इसीलिए गवर्नमेंट ने चाहे वो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हो चाहे वो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हो सभी लोगों ने इसको यहाँ पर से एक रेवेन्यू कलेक्शन का एक सेक्टर को बेस्ट पॉसिबल वे में इस्तेमाल किया क्योंकि उनका भी कोई बजटरी अगर जो कुछ कहीं पर पैसे के फंड चाहिए देखिए ये जो डेली प्राइस रिवीजन से आपके डीलरों की कमर टूट रही है इसके बारे में आपने कभी कोई आवाज नहीं उठाई मेरी एक सरकार से कहना यह है वैभव जी आप तो बहुत एफ्लुएंट लगते हैं जो आप अट्ठाईस रुपए का डिनर खा रहे थे और टैक्स की तारीफ कर रहे थे यहाँ पर जो टैक्स है उस टैक्स के बाद आप पब्लिक को लूट रहे हैं इसको आप पेट्रोल डीजल को जीएसटी के दायरे में क्यों नहीं लेकर के आते अगर आप ये इसको जीएसटी के दायरे में लेके आएंगे तो आपकी प्राइजेस डाउन आएंगी और सारे देश के लोगों को आम आदमी को कम से कम इसका फायदा मिलेगा बजाय इसके कि आप जिस तरीके से पब्लिक को लूट रहे हैं बहुत सारी ड्यूटी उन्नीस रुपए लीटर आपने लगा रखी है जीएसटी के लिए हमारा जीएसटी पे सबसे बड़ा आंदोलन रहा हमने एजुटेशन किए कि वन नेशन वन रेट के तहत इसको लाया जाए और सभी सभी स्टेट्स में एक ही दाम हो ये हमने अपने आंदोलन में बल्कि नोटिस देकर के तो भाग गए आपने वो एजुटेशन तो किया ही नहीं स्टेट के चीफ मिनिस्टर जाकर नोटिस देकर के चले गए आपने आगे तो कुछ नहीं किया रवि जी आपकी टर्न आ गई है रवि जी आपकी टर्न आ गई है आप सरकार मिनट सरकार से बोलने का हक हमारा होता है भागने की बात नहीं होती है दो मिनट दीजिए अजय बंसल होल्ड योर थॉट नाउ आई आई वांट टू आई वांट टू कम टू वैभव अग्रवाल आई वांट टू कम टू वैभव अग्रवाल अजय बंसल प्लीज होल्ड योर थॉट आई वांट टू कम टू वैभव अग्रवाल एंड आस्क हिम अबाउट ब्रिंगिंग पेट्रोल एंड डीजल इनटू द एम्बिट ऑफ जीएसटी गो अहेड वैभव अग्रवाल राइट The beauty of this Avni is that if is that the the culprit as well as the the uh, strategizer behind the old devil, both are on the panel, and that's the beauty of this. Now Shubhakamal will agree to me, and he he is a man of knowledge in that respect also. That Congress uh, in in their GST did not even have the the petrol in the entire act when they amended the constitution to bring in the uh, the gst bill so we brought in the about that the gst amendment is introduced by you the petrol you have done it last year in summer of july like, one moment why to talk about the gst in congress one moment you talk now don't 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 no 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 don't become intolerant on national television it's uttered another praise and lie another don't become intolerant on national television they are bluffing away to glory let's listen let's let's Fast, let's, don't crack you know, foolish jokes. I let let uh, me, Mr. Jha. This ja, is April fast okay. is a fool's day. You know, so the beauty don't of this is, jokes. you know, I'll be forced. I'll talk, be forced talk to talk without lying. You know, Sanjay ji, I'll be forced bluffing. to overpower your talk voice. Talk without fluffing. And and I by the virtue of Sanjay ji, I'll give you a chance to come and rebut what he's saying. Let him complete, please. Vamma Agarwal, go ahead. You know. Congress does this all the time. Aam Aadmi Party has been doing it, but they've been away from the media for some time. But that is why the Parliament also is not being allowed to function because then the lies of the of the earlier regimes of uh, will, will come forth. Now the point that I'm making, and I'm not interested to bring in bad names mm -hmm. to any any other party or anything else. I'm interested to bring in the facts here. The fact is, the fact of the matter is that now this government has acted responsibly. अभी जीएसटी के दायरे के अंदर पेट्रोल को लाया गया है लेकिन वो अभी जीरो डिग्री पे रखा गया है जीरो स्कोर पे रखा गया है जीरो स्कोर पे रखा गया है यदि कांग्रेस के जो पांच स्टेट बचे हुए हैं उन पांच स्टेटों पे आके अगर कांग्रेस हम पे इल्जाम लगाती है आम आदमी पार्टी हम पे इल्जाम लगाती है और और ध्यान रखिए कि जीएसटी काउंसिल में सारे स्टेट की रिप्रेजेंटेशन है और ध्यान ये भी रखिए 
कि दिल्ली में जो टैक्स है पेट्रोल पे वो केंद्रीय सरकार द्वारा सब्सिडाइज किया गया है जो केंद्र ये जो सत, आ, आ, स्टेट की जो प्रदेश की सरकार है उसने अपने टैक्सेस कम नहीं किया पेट्रोल को सस्ता रखने के लिए आम आदमी पार्टी या कोई भी और बीजेपी टुडे व्हाई इट नॉट पॉसिबल टू गेट द टू गेट द गो हेड फॉर जीएसटी That is not the point. I mean, the point is, why has no other state you know, cut I cannot, that? I cannot force the the. <laughs> you have to understand that the states that I am talking about here, Abhi primarily who are actually driving the entire price up, are not BJP rule states. Are Telangana, Punjab, <laughs> Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh. Now you have to understand that these states they have corrupt governments in place, and these states the governments are not interested to tax lies, or bring the their lies, state economies up to the mark. So as to reduce the VAT on the fuel prices. Now the problem is that they cannot; they have to rely very high on revenue collection from the fuel prices. That's the issue. You know, Delhi. We've all seen that there is a corrupt government. But you are in 21 states today. 21. You say you are in 21 states today. 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 Then the other ten. Never mind. In Mumbai, the prices are eighty-one rupees one per liter of petrol. Eighty-one rupees is what the price in Mumbai is. Right. Sanjay Jha, go ahead. You wanted to come in here. Right. But that. Can that I say something state, here? That is a state issue. State you know, you know, Avni, I want to make two points here. Avni, I want to make two points yes, here. Yes, Sanjay Jha. First, Mr. Then we'll come to, to then. Sir, we'll come to you. Can I? Can I? Can I? Point number one here, Avni. Yeah. Yeah. Point number one. Point number one. Before we get into debating what the states need to do, let us first recognize how the central government of Narendra Modi has lied to the people of India. Firstly, as has already been mentioned earlier, they have fleeced the common man with the international price of crude oil was literally touching the bottom of the barrel. They have fleeced us all. You, me, the viewers of this channel have been taken for a jolly ride by Mr. Modi's right. government. Point number two, and this is fundamental. That you know they keep talking about bringing petroleum products under GST. What has stopped them? Because as you rightly pointed out, Avni, there are roughly 21 states that the BJP comes every day in a big political platform and claims we are in 21 states. Mm. Mr. Agarwal does not even have the answer to that question. Out of those four states that he is talking about, most of them were only trying to reduce the price of petrol because they were going for elections, like Gujarat. There are 17 states where they have done nothing. But the fundamental issue is that the central government, therefore, has the majority. Governments they need three fourths to push for the petroleum products to come under GST. They haven't, and I'll tell you the reason behind that. They have mismanaged the economy so badly, Avni, that today you are you are looking at a fiscal deficit crossing 125 percent of the target set. And therefore, to make up for revenue shortfalls, they are indulging in tax terrorism on big business. And what they are no, doing, what is being you know. evident today, is they are fleecing the common man. Now, please remember one point. Please remember one last point. The price when you increase the price of petrol or diesel, Gautam Adani, Mukesh Ambani, Anil Ambani, or Mr. Ratan Tata pays the same price as the man on the street, as you and me, or is any common man, or a farmer, or a laborer, or anybody across India. Therefore, it is called as a regressive tax. But then this government is a suit. Boot or loot? Ki sarkar. They are helping ICICI, VideoCon. They are helping Nirav Modi, Mehul Choksi, and end of day the common man. All right, Sanjay, uh, we are moving away from topic. Agar, I, 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 I mean, Jamal, that's coming to you. You, 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 that you would end up paying per liter of petrol across the country would be 49.3 rupees per liter that's the number that a petrol uh, would cost if it was brought under gst so rokam i'll go ahead
Since, uh, as far as I understand, I think this discussion of yours was initially supposed to be in Hindi, so I will uh, answer a part of it in Hindi also for your viewers. You can uh, go ahead in Main English, that's not a problem. If you look at GST Council, if you look at GST Council, and GST Council, okay, okay, I will, I will, uh, I will, uh, uh, communicate in both the languages. It will be English sure, as such, sure. Hindi and English. Mera manna hai ki GST Council ke paribhasha ko agar aap dekhenge aur uske clauses ko agar aap dekhenge kahi na kahi pe ye avashak hai ki waha pe consensus banai jai. Rajniti consensus Bharat Sarkar ke beech mein aur tamam Pradesh ke sarkaro ke beech mein ye kahi na kahi pe anuvari hai. Which means ki you cannot Correct. bulldoze your decision in the GST Council by the central government if there is a kind of a Absolutely. opposition from any of the state government. And I think that is where the problem is, why we are not able to right. get in a petroleum product within the GST uh, Council or within the GST tax regime. It is high time that leaving aside your political Just ambition ambit. and ambit. leaving aside the politics between Congress and BJP and the regional parties, for the common people Correct. and for the cause of the common people, it's high time that this discussion should be done in a very serious way in the next GST Council. And my goodwill will be to both Rashtriya Party and all the Pradesh parties that you make a decision and bring it to GST Council in petroleum products so that the people can get the right to the people. And I do agree right. with you that if it is brought within the GST, uh, within the uniform taxing uh, regime as such, petroleum right. and petroleum product, especially petrol, petrol would come down to somewhere on 49 to 50 rupees per litre and diesel would be much more cheaper. So it is, it is quite yes, natural Dutta, that this can be... Please also know right. that Mr. Right. Modi's uh, government will go financially bankrupt. I'm going to ask all our panelists to just hold their thoughts for a minute. Let's get in some voices it. from some of the viewers. They will go financially and, uh, bankrupt, therefore they are not doing it. Sanjay, have one minute. Let's get in some voices from just the viewers. Uh, Surendra Singh from Hyderabad is on the phone line. Surendra Singh, go ahead. Sure. Yeah, good evening, madam. Good evening. Ma madam Avani. I am fortunate enough to get connected after six months. I am trying since last six months. So, thank you very much. Oh, my apologies, uh, Surinder Singh, that you were not able to connect. Yeah. Go ahead with your point. So, uh, my question is pertaining to BJP spokesperson, Mr. Vaibhav Agarwal. Yes. Uh, my question is regarding the fuel crude, proportionate of crude to the refined fuel. Why, and one more thing is, why... Uh, I I, I right. just feel that he keeps on dodging the questions. When the crude was almost nearly 140 a barrel, <laughs> it was sold exactly. much below rupees 60 a liter. Now the crude is right. just 70 dollars and petrol is being sold at 81 a liter. Right. Please let me know why the proportionate of crude is not. Yeah, I'll tell you. I have an answer to that. Yeah. And and once again, re I request you, your yeah. good self, to kindly, yeah. I'll, I'll answer this that, time yeah. at least try to give me the reply straight to the point. Please do not dodge. And I would like to know if there is any other way I'll out for that. the government to that. improve their revenue by plugging loopholes in the total government expenditure. Uh, can't the government of the day reduce their expenditure and save the people oh, of our country? Right. All right, Surendra Singh, thank you for uh, calling us with yeah. your question. I'm going to go to Vaibhav Agarwal right. to answer right. that question. But before that, we've also got Munnaram from Ghazipur uh, on the yeah. phone line. Hi, so, Munnaram. Brilliant. Thank you for calling us. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, uh, good evening, all uh, panelists. Uh, my question is also uh, uh, on the same lines as uh, Hyderabad uh, viewer has uh, mm -hmm. asked. Uh, I was I used to know that if he had quoted uh, one forty dollar uh, was in the UP time and it was sold at sixty and uh, seventy in now and so being sold at eighty one. Where is the difference of money going? Number one. Number two. As uh, the, some of the panelists told that under the <coughs> it will be forty nine point three zero. Okay. Again, my question is the same. That where is the higher price? Uh, uh, the, the excess amount is going. And where it is being accumulated? Is there any fund or it is going to some welfare fund or anything? Okay. From BJP, uh, from BJP uh, uh, spokesperson, I wish to know that are you aware of the effect of this uh, price uh, hike in petroleum products? Where are places it is affecting? 
All right, thank all right. Well, Naram, thank you so much for calling us. Uh, Vaibhav Agarwal, uh, both the question. viewers uh, have questions for you. Very good questions. Go ahead. Very good questions. Excellent questions. Now, first the, Hyderabad, uh, uh, first the Hyderabad gentleman. My specific answer would be, one minute, Sanjay ji, why don't you take the questions on behalf of my government? I'll be happy to stay quiet. Vaibhav Agarwal, please, uh, Agarwal, please go ahead. Uh, will you allow me to take the questions? Because I know you don't have an answer. Uh, Sanjay Jha, let, let's you. let Vaibhav Agarwal so answer my, the my viewers answer to, to our viewer from... Uh, yeah. Sanjay Ji, you're senior to me. Give me an opportunity, please. Allow me to learn from you. Thank you. So, uh, Hyderabad viewer, I respect your views. Now, now my answer to this is that when, when we took over the government in, in uh, 2014, we uh, faced a, a legal notice from Iran a, a notice from Iran where they said that we will stop giving you 5 lakh barrels a day of <laughs> oil that we are importing from them. And I'll, I'll tell you why importing from Iran is important. Uh, and, and if we do not pay our debt of $6.5 billion plus interest, and that also has to be paid in dollars or euros. Now they wanted their preferred currency was euros. Now there's a lot of money that is going on and at that Rubbish. time there was a debt of 45,000 crores Rubbish. and the debt is always increasing right now because the debt is repaid on the current price index of the oil. That does not mean that if we purchase the debt at as let's say $40 a barrel then we'll pay it back at $40 a barrel. If, if, if the oil is, is, is $70 a barrel then we will end up paying at $70 a barrel. So that is one part. So there's a lot of money that is going to them. We've already paid them about 5,000 crores um, last year. And we've reached to an agreement with them to route the monies through a bank in Germany, through our bilateral discussions when Modi ji visited Iran in, uh, so, in May 2016. So, what, what now, statistics is one you are part. giving, I am And surprised. the second part is... I am totally surprised I mean, of what statistics you are giving. You know, one minute, one minute, one minute, Mr. Can you simply tell, tell that minute, what you did with the 5 lakh crores? One what minute, you did with the 5 lakh crores? Can you tell you know, that? One Which minute, you earned in three years. years. Second part. You are talking 5,000 crores. You are you talking 45,000 crores. You should be able to their volume. Because they have no etiquette you are on the making, debate. What you did with you know, the 5 lakh crores. I can keep a loud voice <coughs> and, and then you spoil the environment. Now, now you answer my question. Do you want question. me to degrade Please. the Mr. 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 To the degradation You decided. The NDA. NDA one decided. Market determined the price. I do not want to fall out. Market determined the price. Now you are making it minister determined price mechanism. How all I do not want to be aggressive. Can we please let Vaibhav Agarwal finish answering? I will, right I will come back to you okay. for a rebuttal. Okay. Vaibhav Agarwal, go ahead. <clears throat> Thank you. So, so the 2014 barrel rate was $110 a barrel. Now we are now we are sitting at a $70 barrel. So there isn't too much price price uh, uh, a difference, but the price of the crude oil that uh, sorry the price of the fuel that are that is available is a market. $110 a barrel. Are you telling me $110 to $70 is not a price difference? You're talking about $40. There is a difference, BJP. Vaibhav Agarwal, how are you saying $110 to $70 is not a price difference? You say no difference. That we one minute. Joking or what? I'm, I'm telling you that we you also joking? have to appreciate Why, that in November joking? 13, are when we inherited the, the government, here? the inflation no index was 12.17%. The, the inflation index, the inflation about the index is only 4.4 right now. So we have been able to maintain a control. What inflation index we are talking about? We have we have been able to keep the inflation index in control. Absolutely not. You know, you can raise your voice all you okay. want and bulldoze. I have a question to you. But I have a question to you. All right, all right. Where are we going? One minute. Ravi Shivastar. I have a question. I have a question. You yeah. just want to throw. Vavagra, you just want to throw everything that the government wants to do, and you want to criticize Vavagra, everything that the government wants to do to because it's a passion for you. You because your president, Mr. Sanjay Jha, your president of the party does not have time enough to, 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 to put up videos of his dogs and and Amadi party does not have does not have any other views but to run away and dodge questions. You have spoken because they have not even conducted one thing. Ravi Shivastav, go ahead with your point, I, and then Sanjay Jha and uh, Saro Kamal, I'm going I to come to you. I have not spoken enough. I've stopped myself from speaking because I respect you, Minister and I do not want to be intolerant as you are. Mechanism. It is going on keep, today. I don't want to it degrade this debate. It is not market determined price mechanism. Like you. How come all oil marketing companies and the pri private companies uh, it selling is absolutely a market determined price are mechanism. selling at the same price? Free. The if company, are, the oil companies are, are regulating the price on their own. There should be an internal company. The oil companies are regulating the price BPCL on their own. And the why? Because we have to repay the debt. So if we do not repay the debt, 
How you know, everybody is selling at the same I'll price. Mr. Your Shrivastav, petrol you told pricing me, is a fraud, you told me you Mr. Agarwal, and I can prove it on a piece of paper. You. Mr. Shrivastav, how it's many types of food oils are there you. in the market? It's a total fraud. How many types of food oils okay, are we importing okay, okay. from what region? I'm going to ask region? my panelists Just to please calm down. You I have a question you claim for you know Survo Kamal Datta. I'm asking One you a direct question, Mr. Shrivastav. I have a question for Survo Kamal Datta. I Surva want Kamal to know how can I come with Agni for a second. I want to make a statement. Mr. Shrivastav claims very high. He has the right to tell the nation how many types of crude oils do we do we I import can. and from what regions. I can That's tell all you. I know. I That's all I want to know from him. Otherwise, his claim is false. Okay, okay. Venezuela crude. All prices. Tell me, sir. Mr. Bagarwal, please one minute. <laughs> Surva Kamal, my sir. question, my no, no, question no, 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 no. to Surva Kamal Datta is: Is there a is a formula possible? Is there a way to reduce taxes if the crude oil prices go up? Why can a formula like that not be worked out? Yes, there is a mechanism for reducing uh, taxes on petroleum and petroleum product, even if uh, there is a kind of an uh, you know increase or de uh, decrease in uh, petroleum prices at the international market. But the question is like, we do it at what cost? If the if the prices of per barrel of petrol and petroleum product at the international market is uh, very very high, and if we keep on subsidizing that, then it creates in a kind of an internal economic disaster in the country, and that is something which is suicidal for the economy of the country in the long run. Now let me come to uh, this uh, whole debate about you know like when the when uh, petroleum prices was very low, why didn't the government reduce the prices of petroleum product within the country. As an economist, I understand how the parity uh, connectivity between nations, how it works out. When the UPA government had abdicated power in 2013, 2014, in 2014, the international <coughs> debt of the country was around 6% out of the total GDP. Now, that was something which was much beyond the red line as such, you know. Uh, uh, I'm talking about international debt at the invisible account and in the current account, it was around 4%. Now, for, uh, uh, we could not allow that to continue as such because if that would have continued, the nation would have gone through a kind of an economic disaster. The government of the present day, what it did as far as I understand is like the revenue, the extra revenue which this government earned because of uh, reduction in prices of, me, of petroleum products in the like to Sanjay, I'm going to come to you The next. government was in a position to repay back a part of that debt. A, a part of a part of that debt at the international uh, level, and I think it was because of this gradual, systematic, uh, you know, uh, repatriation of the international debt that today the physical def uh, deficit has come down at a much lower level. It needs to come down further. Because even now we are in an international debt crisis and for us to come out of that in the long run, we need to take in some more, uh, uh, you know, stringent measures as such. Right, now, all right. for that, uh, taxing petroleum is not the only way out. There are other ways other of Other ways that, that need also. to be worked Actually, out. I, I get your point. Uh, I get your point. You know, Sanjay Jhan, uh, uh, coming to you, your... On your... Un unnecessary expenditure. Right. On unnecessary expenditure, that also helps in in the yeah. balance of payment uh, of situation. Me. Right, That's right. Up. All right. Uh, Sanjay Jha, go ahead. You know, Avni, there is a lot of, I think, distorted information being spoken on your channel. You see, what Mr. Datta and Mr. Agarwal are not telling you and telling the viewers is that the NDA inherited a buoyant foreign exchange reserves of over $325 billion from the UPA. So there is no question of India not having the capability to service the import bills. That's absolute nonsense because that cannot be any rational justification for no, saying that we NDA continue had, to tax had, the people of India no with the the national price fact, of oil Mr. was coming Dha. down. There anyway, listen, no I'm not talking to you. Facts. I'm answering. I'm, I'm not answering here Avni. for political I'm answering Avni. Avni. Mr. Datta, I'm not answering you. Surabh Kamal Datta, you've had, you. you've had your turn. Surabh Kamal Datta, you've had your turn. Let Sanjay Jha make his point. Surabh Kamal Datta, can I request you to please let Sanjay Jha make his point? And let me make a second point. So please, let me make a second point. Surabh Kamal Datta, please let Sanjay Jha make his point. Don't shout. Your shouting will have no impact. Don't shout. 
you know, Sanjay in the world, that don't of don't shout, don't individual, shout. individual, yeah. when don't, the UPA don't had abdicated... Don't the... shout. Sanjay, go ahead. Mr. Datta, don't shout. You are being extremely rude and impertinent. That is... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Abhi, let me tell you the second point. The second point is more crucial and which is that the government not only tax the people of India on excise duties, principally the central government, but the other part is that it saved substantial money in terms of reducing the foreign exchange that was being paid to import our oil products, which was like 80% of our import bills are on oil. So you saved on import bills and you kept taxing the people of India. It's a double whammy that the government had in its favor. Now this is called as a tailwind in economics. Now at the end of four years, if the BJP he says that what about the international debt? We had a deal with Iran. Are you, you, are you trying to say that you would allow the Indian government to I mean, uh, keep on increasing the, the international debt? Truth. Listen, why I mean, are, I mean, you are you interrupting? Are you trying to say why that you are, like, I mean, we, we should have allowed? I don't know what the, economist uh, you are, but stop Surukamal interrupting. Datta, you have to let other people complete their points. So, Surukamal Datta, please let Sanjay Datta finish. We have to get another panelist as well. You are an uncivilized person to keep arguing like this. Absolutely uncivilized behavior. Sanjay Datta, please go ahead. Disgusting. Repugnant and uncivilized no, behavior, and I will not be able to do that. You have to, have to listen to other people. Don't be rude. You have to put your yeah. audio down if you don't stop talking. Let's keep talking. Talk and you, listen to other people. Before you say something, yeah. practice what you preach. I don't know preach. what economist you are. You don't know the ABC of economics. Let me tell you that. Surukamal Datta, this is not that kind of a channel. Of we economics. do not have so screaming matches here. Anyway. He's Sanjay Jha, go ahead. Sunu Kamal Datta, yeah. please, we do not have three exactly. matches here. Well, you will really have to well stop point. talking, allow yeah. other people to finish their points. Yeah. We listen as well here. Sanjay Jha, go ahead. Yeah, Abhi, one last point. Abhi, one last point, one last point. I feel the sad part of this is that this, the rise in prices, especially of diesel, is going to have a cascading inflationary impact on the economy. Absolutely. Mr. Agarwal said, don't worry, we have kept inflation under check. What he is again not telling you, that inflation, if it has been moderately under check, it was only because of low oil prices. But look at food costs. Look at the food costs in India that the common man pays for, that is periodically skyrocketing through the roof, whether it's potatoes, onion, uh, you know, whether it's milk, any product they have gone over, gone over the skies. So let not the government here become so arrogant Sanjay, as to say that I will tax that you when I want UPA to and, and what UPA I do with the we money. Paid 100, you have no business to ask rupees me. a kg for onion and potatoes. All right, rupees, uh, I remember Rebel Bhagavad, Sanjay Jha, I request you to hold your UPA, thoughts, please. I want to get your views from our viewers who are sure, watching sure. and who want to come in. Vipul Saxena from Mumbai is with us on the phone line. Hi, Vipul, go ahead. What would you like to say? Yeah, Avni, first let me introduce myself to this uh, panelist. I am uh, working as a president in a very big corporate in Mumbai. Okay. Second thing, I am also aviation expert. So I know fuel and economy as good as Mr. Sanjay Jha or Mr. Datta or Mr. Weber Agrawal. So let me tell you one thing. Make your point, that, make your point, Vipul. Okay, my point is that uh, whether UPA or whether BJP, uh, the fuel prices have not come down. People did not get any kind of relief. relief. Despite the fact that the government had decontrolled fuel prices only on one objective, that it will be controlled by the international crude, pri uh, crude prices. People were told that whenever crude prices will be uh, going up or down, uh, automatically uh, petrol and diesel prices will be controlled. That was the whole formula uh, behind the decontrolling of the uh, prices. Yeah. Second thing, uh, the GST is so high on this, that till, the, till the time it is exempted from the GST, fuel price will not come down. Government is looting people. And third thing is, um, uh, it is a major decision. All, all right, uh, Vipul Saxena, uh, petrol and diesel are not in the ambit of GST, and that is what uh, a lot of the point is, that to bring it under the ambit of GST. All right, Kiran Kumar from Gujarat is uh, with us. Uh, Kiran, go ahead. Uh, my, my question is to Mr. Agrawal, BJP. Yes, go ahead. Uh, the, government, the government, present government, if it wishes, it can do. It can bring demonetization during night 12 o'clock. It can it can it can empower GST from from the date which they are decided. Then why not petrol prices are reduced by them in spite of low low, low barrel charges during their regime since 2014. All right, uh, all right. Thank you, Kiran, for uh, uh, you know calling us uh, with your May view. May I respond I, to I, I, Kiran ji? Uh, all right, Vibhav, uh, very quickly. 
Yeah. So, Kiranji, yes, I respect your viewpoint. No, we cannot do that immediately. I'll tell you why. Because the revenue that is collected from the petrol or the diesel prices are being distributed at least at five ends. The center only lands up uh, receiving up just about 20% of it. Rest, everything goes to the states. Now, you have to appreciate that there is a cost inflation internationally that is there. There is an interest we are paying on the debt that we received from UPA earlier. And, and we are paying that also. Are, and we are also know, so reducing many of these our states international are ruled deficit, by the BJP which is government. international debt. What are you trying so to the say? The entire money is distributed. Yes. Right. You also appreciate that the BJP government lie. rule states are he already, the fuel prices lie. are almost at stable. Just about a rupee, two rupee up and down. He continues and most to of lie. The, most, of, stable, most of the it can't be stable. That happens, it is, it is everywhere the rates are high. Rule states. The rate rates are to high. How can it be stable? And, and you are profiteering both ways. What we are this trying to do is the exercise duty. And I absolutely understand this. No party exercise or in At the end of the day, when we inherited 81 rupees in 2014, all right, I, I'm going to let Ajay Bansal come in. He's not had a chance to come in. Uh, Ajay Bansal, please again. go ahead. Bebe Agarwal, please uh, the, uh, hold that thought. Ajay Bansal, please go ahead. Yeah, my only yes. point is, yeah, please. I, my only point is, जो भी discussion हो रहा है, और ये discussion इसलिए हो रहा है कि हम आप आप public public जो है, वो इस तेल के दाम से बढ़े हुए दाम से बहुत आहत है. And we all are here to come out, not to accuse. I am not uh, belongs to any part, political party, but still being a, a, a public and a, a, a public की बात रखने के लिए यहाँ पर हमारा discussion चल रहा है. तो अब ये government को पैसा चाहिए और पैसा यहाँ से ही आ, आ सकता है आसानी से. इसको कैसे कहाँ और सोच से government ले सकती है? ये एक शास्त्रीय और और हमारी political party का काम है. और ये जल्दी होना चाहिए. GST एक रास्ता था. जीएसटी एक रास्ता था लेकिन जीएसटी की जो हायर स्लैब है वो 28 परसेंट की उसमें भी मुझे जो लगता है कि सरकार क्यों नहीं मानेगी और कैसे नहीं मान सक, आ, मान पाएगी वो सोच की बात है कि 28 परसेंट के बाद आप सोचे कि पंद्रह रुपए से बाईस रुपए तक का फर्क एवरेज पंद्रह रुपए का फर्क पूरे इंडिया में लोअर साइड पे आएगा यानी कि पंद्रह रुपए घटेंगे पेट्रोल पे और डीजल पे तो अगर जो पंद्रह बीस रुपए घटता है तो वो पैसे की रिकवरी कहां से होगी तो ये बातें हमें इस इस इससे निकलनी चाहिए वो जब वो फोर्टी वन फोर्टी सेवन डॉलर पर बैरल था तब दाम कम किए गए और कम थे तो उसमें भी हमारी कंपनीज को बहुत ज्यादा नुकसान हुआ था लेकिन आज अगर जो मान लीजिए दाम कम है और प्राइस ज्यादा है वो भी गलत है दोनों साइड ही गलत हुआ आज तो... तक कोई ऑयल कंपनी पिछले तीस सालों में लॉस में नहीं गई फजल साहब एक भी ऑयल कंपनी तीस सालों में लॉस में नहीं गई एक भी we still have not received a proper justification of why petrol and diesel prices are at the levels that they are today. Why is it that the tax component is so high? It's such a big chunk of the entire final cost that you actually pay for petrol and diesel. And at the end of the day, we still, no matter how many debates we've had, we've not come up with solutions. We've not heard solutions of how to bring down this uh, price of petrol and diesel. The one solution, sitting duck solution, is to put it into G, uh, to put into the ambit of GST. But that will not happen because that will affect the fiscal deficit. The question is, how long will the common man keep suffering from high taxes from increasing cost of living on a day-to-day -day basis and this i'm going to go back to what i said in the beginning is this petrol and diesel is something that is such an easy way such an easy thing to tax because you know that everybody is going to continue to use it and people are going to have no choice and you're taking advantage of all of us you're taking advantage of the common man this is a debate we will continue to have Keep taking up this topic until we get some answers. On that note, thanks so much for watching.